friends, I'm Ava. Welcome to Church at Home. I am so excited to celebrate a very special day with you. Do you know what day that is? It's Easter. I can't wait. That's when we celebrate the amazing miracle Jesus did when he died and came back to life. And today is a special day because we are celebrating Jesus. Our big idea today reminds us that we can celebrate Jesus by worshiping him. Our big idea says, I can worship Jesus. Are you ready to say that? Repeat after me. I can worship Jesus. Great job. To worship means to give our praise and our thanks to God, to show him we love him. And one way I love to worship is by singing songs to Jesus. So let's all stand up and sing a song to celebrate and worship that Jesus is alive for us. We're gonna sing this song called Alive. It is about how Jesus is alive today. It's not just a story in a book, it is true. So we're gonna sing that right now. It's not just a story, here we go. It's not just a story, he's alive today. The tomb is empty, forever I am changed because of His love. Sing out, because of His great love. Because of His great love. Sing, He took my failures. He took my failures, forgiven all my sin. He is my Savior and life will never end because of His love. Sing out, because of His great love. Because of his great love. Let's sing out the cross. The cross was where Jesus died for all my sin. But on the third day he would breathe once again. He's alive, he's alive, he's alive. Sing out, he's alive. He's alive, he's alive, he's alive. The Savior has risen. So we sing it loud just to praise him. Coming back again. I know he's coming, he's coming back again. The Holy Spirit was given as a friend because of his love. Sing out because of his great love. Because of his great love. Let's sing out the cross. The cross was where Jesus died for all my sin. But on the third day he would live the same. Great job, friends. We can worship Jesus because he is alive. He died on the cross, but he didn't stay dead, did he? No, he came back to life and Jesus is still alive today. 
we praise Jesus, we celebrate Jesus, and we say thank you to Jesus for the amazing miracle He did. We can worship Him all the time, but a very special time to do that is at Easter. I know a story all about people who worship Jesus too. It's in a very special book. Do you know what book this is? It's the Bible, God's special book for us. It's a book that tells us stories about real people and places from a long time ago. As we see this story from the Bible, see if you can find different ways people worship Jesus. Are you ready? Let's put on our thinking caps and our listening ears and watch our Bible story. Stories of the Bible, the triumphal entry. This is Jesus. hey -o! who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, He taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses, when God brought His people out of Egypt. So Jesus was going to Jerusalem to celebrate. Jesus and His disciples stopped in the town, You coming? and Jesus told two of His disciples to go on ahead of them. Eh, okay. He told them to go into a village and that they would see a young donkey that no one had ever ridden. Rock! He told them to untie it and bring it to him. <laughs> if anyone asks, what are you doing? He told them to just say, the Lord needs it and will return it soon. <laughs> okay, go ahead. So the disciples did what Jesus said and brought him the donkey. A long time ago, before Jesus was even born, God had said that the Savior, the King of Israel, would come to Israel in this way. And now Jesus was doing just as God had said. The news that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem swept through the city. Many heard about all the amazing things He had done, so they cut palm branches and ran to see Him. Huh? The Pharisees and religious rulers realized that there was nothing they could do, for everyone was going to see Jesus. Jesus rode into the city of Jerusalem and the crowd spread their coats on the road ahead of Him. His followers began to shout and sing as they walked along, praising God for all the wonderful miracles they had seen. The Pharisees were upset and they told Jesus to stop the people from saying things like that. But Jesus said, if they keep quiet, the stones along the road would burst into cheers. So the people kept on singing, Blessings on the King who comes in the name of the Lord! Praise God in highest heaven! The entire city of Jerusalem was in an uproar as He entered, asking, Who is this? And the crowds replied, It's Jesus! And Jesus rode the donkey through the street of Jerusalem to the temple in a triumphal entry just as God said He would many years before. Wow! Did you see all the different ways people worship Jesus in that story? They used their bodies to wave palm leaves and set coats on the ground to make a special path, and they used their voices to shout Hosanna because they believed Jesus was their King, who had come to save them. And He was! We can worship Jesus in different ways. Point to your mouth. You can use your mouth to sing about Jesus and tell Him how amazing He is. Point to your head. You can think about Jesus and remember the good things He did. Now let's wiggle our bodies. We can dance and celebrate Jesus too. Easter is a great time to worship and celebrate Jesus because of the amazing miracle He did for me and for you. There is a verse in the Bible that will tell us what Easter is all about, but oh no, it's all covered in bubbles. Can you help me pop them all so we can see our Bible verse? Let's pop all the bubbles. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time. The bubble 
on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, wait! That's not a bubble, that's a bubble! Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles! Bubble popping party people! Let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here and pop them out of sight! That's it! Alright, alright! Keep going, yay! We're almost there! We're at the pop! Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left! Okay, ready, go! One, two, three, keep going! That's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble! Oh, too many bees! <laughs> pop them over here, pop them over there! Good job popping the bubbles, everyone. And look, we can see our Bible verse now. It says, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16 Wow, that Bible verse tells us that God sent Jesus because He loves us. Jesus died on the cross so that anyone who believes in Jesus can live in heaven with him one day. That's an amazing thing to celebrate. Let's say thank you to Jesus by worshiping him and singing those words to him. Let's stand up and sing John 3.16. This song is John 3.16. It's about how God sent his one and only son, Jesus, to save us from our sins. You guys, we're going to sing about that right now all together. Let's go like this. Great job singing and dancing, everyone! When we believe that God sent His Son, Jesus, for us, we have a reason to worship Jesus and celebrate Him. I know some friends who want to help us learn more about how we can worship Jesus. It's Jim and Gip. And this week, they have a really fun game for all of us to play with our Scuppet friends. I wonder what Scuppet we'll see today. Let's put on our listening ears, our thinking caps, and get ready for Game On! Hi friends! I'm Gip. And I'm Jim. And this is Game On! Every show we will have a new challenge for you to complete with one of our Scuppet friends. So are you ready to play a game? I know I am. All of our games are going to help us remember Jesus. Today's game is going to get loud. Today is a day to celebrate and be loud for Jesus because we are talking about the story of him coming to Jerusalem as king. That's right. Our Jesus is the one true king. He came into Jerusalem riding on a donkey and the people worshiped him and shouted, Hosanna. Can you say Hosanna? Hosanna! 
Hosanna means please save us. We shout Hosanna on Palm Sunday because Jesus is the one who saves us from our sins. And that's something to worship Jesus for. Our big idea is I can worship Jesus. Can you say that with me on three? One, two, three. I can worship Jesus. To worship means to give praise and thanks to Jesus, to show Him we love Him. We can worship Jesus with the things we say with our mouth, do with our body, and think with our minds. A special important way we can worship Jesus is by singing songs to Him. Jesus loves to hear you sing songs to Him. We can also worship Jesus by thinking about Him and what Easter is all about when we put up Easter decorations. Or by making a craft or something special for Jesus to say thank you to Him. We can even tell Jesus thank you and that we love Him. Or we can dance for Jesus. We are going to do that today with our game. We need a scuppered friend to dance for Jesus with us. So let's open up an egg and see who's going to be dancing with us. <gasps> Whoa, that's a lot of scuppets. We must be doing a lot of dance moves. Friends, stand up with us so we can get ready to dance. Ready? Game, Game on. on! Hi, friends. <laughs> it's time for ba -ba -ba! color dance for Jesus. We're going to show you two colors, and you're going to pick which color you like best and do the dance move like the scuppet who is that color. Try it with me, Winston. If you like yellow, <laughs> dance like me. If you like red, dance like Winston. If you like purple, dance like Melly. If you like blue, dance like Izzy. Let's get dancing! If you like pink, dance like Hector. If you like green, dance like Bestos. Here we go! Let's do it again! If you like yellow, <laughs> dance like me. If you like red, dance like Winston. If you like purple, dance like Melly. If you like blue, dance like Izzy. Here we go! If you like pink, dance like Hector. If you like green, dance like Bestos. Here we go! <laughs> I loved dancing for Jesus, and you did a great job dancing too! <laughs> nice moves! See you later! That was fun! I love to worship Jesus through dancing! Me too! I love that we get the chance to worship Jesus together. You can worship Jesus in lots of ways this week. So remember our big idea, I can worship Jesus. Let's say that as loud as we can on three. One, two, three. I can worship Jesus! I think we can be louder than that. Let's try one more time. One, two, three. I can worship Jesus! That was so loud! Great job, friends! Remember, Jesus loves you so much, and we do too! We'll see you next time for... Game On! Bye! I can't believe we got to play a game with all the scuppets today! That was so much fun! Great job dancing and celebrating, friends! Jim and Gift reminded us that dancing and singing and celebrating are all ways we can worship Jesus. Remember that word worship? 
It means to praise and thank Jesus to show Him how much we love Him. Let's spend some time worshiping by thanking Jesus right now. Let's put five fingers here, five fingers there, and join them together for a quiet prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us so much. Thank you for the amazing miracle you did for us. Thank you for coming to save us. We love you and we worship you this Easter and every day. And all God's children said, Amen. Great job, friends. Before we go, I have a question. Do you remember our big idea? Let's say it together one more time. One, two, three. I can worship Jesus. You did it. I have had so much fun with you learning all about worshiping Jesus today. We'll see you soon. Bye.